Good evening, folks. We are at Martin's Fort today. We're gonna try to get on some spring uh, March fish. We're gonna be mostly throwing some A rigs, some crankbaits, and, and maybe a few other things. I may go into a few uh, list of my favorite springtime baits to catch these fish, but hopefully we catch a few. Subscribe, go down, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit your notifications so you'll know we do giveaways. We give away a bunch of stuff. We've got one going on right now. You gotta go watch another video on Top in Motivated, but we're gonna be giving that away soon. So go subscribe, check us out. If you want free stuff all the time, we give it away. So stick with us. We're about to go whack a big fat ass. We go. We'll be starting with the Alabama rig. Been seeing a lot of shad jump and flicker, and I know there's plenty of bait here. So, this is my Tennessee rig. It's still got just the three hooks on it, but that's fine. They are rigged with Kitek, just in the uh, all white. Man, there's so many fish right here. I need to know what they are, though. It could be crappy. Got him on the Kai Tech. There we go. Decent one. There we go. Out here in the middle. Number one, look how pale. Pretty fish. I've tried jerk bait, I've tried the A rig, I've tried everything, but that I was slow rolling at single Kai Tech, and that's in the white, so got that one let's get us another one love you sugar panned around saw three or four fish cast it to them and caught it so this video is sponsored by the folks over at mystery tackle box if you don't know what mystery tackle box is it is a monthly subscription box that they put together the baits they ship it straight to your door and the baits they select matches the month and the time of year you should be fishing so if it's colder weather, you might get a jig. If it's warmer weather, you might get some crankbaits. But let's see what's in this March box. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, I see 10,000 fish head hunter. That looks just like the mega bass. Top water Spitfire. Walking top water bait. I'll have to give these to Wance. He's a Guggen man. We got us a jig. We got what in the what's that? Bats, flutter wings, and tickle tails. Oh yeah! Got some hooks. Got the got the box. This thing here tells you how much those baits were. Look at that headbanger Spitfire, fifteen dollar lure. If you use my code right here, you're gonna get your first box for ten bucks. So go use the code and get you some lures it's good for you see right here there's two or three fish on the screen number two watched him eat it oh looky there walter we got us a walter not what we're after but my walter Right on the bottom. That's like two fish in a row out here in the middle. So we might just have to use what little knowledge that we've gained by fishing in the middle. Single Kitek, one bass, one Walter, but they looks like they're feeding out in the middle. So That one on the fall. It's a better fish, too. Nope, it ain't. But we got him. 
There he is. Little dude. I thought it was bigger. It hit big. There's several right out in front of me. Just that one kind of hit it on the fall. Oh yes. Big school of fish out there. Still throwing the little single kitek here, and before the bait even got toward the bottom, this little crappie come up and absolutely smoked it. Uh, hit it on the fall. Little small crappie, but these crappie were mixed in with the bass. Caught caught several of these on the trip too, but you can tell he choked it. Mm. Goodbye. Got him. Fish bit on the fall. There we go. Another one. And bit on the fall. Ugly bass. No color. I'm going to go ahead and promote our brand again, though. That's all those fish on the same bait, same screw lock head. Every fish I've caught in this video has come off that one jig head. We've not got hung up, nothing like that. Got that one. Pretty fish. Just saw some fish on the Mega Life. Made my long cast, letting it sink down to them. Make your big long cast with these single Kitex. Let that bait go down, and as it's going, the tail is just wiggling the whole way down. And then once I see my line get the slack, I know it's on bottom, that's when I just slightly, slightly reel it. Like I don't want to feel any vibration. I don't want to feel any thump. Just slow rolling it on the bottom. A lot of times those fish will come up and hit while your bait's falling anyway. So. Ah. Oh. Mmm, that felt bigger too. Dag gum it. Terrible. Got him! Still just doing the same thing, casting these fish on a big flat, single kitek. Not caught anything huge, but I'm catching some numbers, which is always pleasant. But yeah, single Kitek. She's gone. Single Kitek. That's all I'm doing. Throwing it slow, slow rolling. There we go. They're getting a little bigger. Keying in. That fish right there, uh, I didn't even touch the handle on that one. It just, I went to reel my first time. Uh, there was pressure there. That fish was already on it. Love you, Scooby. Ah! Got him. Yes, sir. It had been a minute. Thank you, Lydia. That's two bites back to back, though. First one felt like a good bite. But I'm seeing several fish on my Mega Live right now, so. I'm just targeting them.
got him. There we go. Yes. I don't know what number it is, but we got us another. Man, they're so ugly right now, though. Thank you, though. That is it, folks. Pretty good day on the fork. Not crazy sizes, but we caught some numbers, and that's that's always good. So it's only going to get better from here. Appreciate everybody for watching, subscribing, clicking the bell. Stay tuned. We are about to hit Big G, which is Gville, Gunnersville, one of the top bass lakes in the U.S. So stay tuned for those. I know we're going to whack some fat sallies down there. We go.